Hey guys, in this video, I am going to share my eyelash journey from way back to February of 2016. Actually, I could go further, but I'm going to insert some photos and I'm going to show you how I achieved the eyelashes I have today. So if you're interested in seeing some before and after pictures and seeing and hearing about my eyelash journey, be sure you stay tuned. But before I share that with you, if you are new to my channel, if you just stumbled across my channel, please take a moment, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment and thumbs up the video. I would truly appreciate it. And for all of my loyal friends and subscribers that watch all my videos, huge, huge, huge thank you to every single one of you. So now, the first picture that I'm going to insert for you was taken sometime in February of 2016. You'll recognize the bookshelf behind me. This was a picture that I don't remember if I took it, if Jay took it, but it was a picture of me as I was getting ready. I was all ready for work. I want you to look at the eyelashes, my eyelashes. Now this was, at this point in time, I had been doing a homemade remedy on my eyelashes, so I thought in February of 2016 that my eyelashes were looking much better than they ever had ever because I was using a homemade remedy and I continued to use that homemade remedy until I started with Careprost. Now Careprost is not for everyone. There are side effects so no matter what I share with you and talk about please please understand I'm not an expert I'm just a 64 year old woman on a journey trying to be the best me I possibly can be. You need to do your own research because the things that I do may not work for you. But anyways, take a good look at this February of 2016 photo. Those were my eyes and those were my eyelashes with mascara on. I have very light blonde eyelashes without any mascara you would never see my eyelashes. And I always had, all my life, short, stubby eyelashes. I have, other than when I was in high school, I have not ever worn false eyelashes, nor have I, and I have an eyelash curler, but I've never been able to bring myself to use it. I cannot watch someone else do an eyelash curler on their eye. I have to turn away or fast forward the video. It just, it just grosses me out. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the truth. So... I was using the homemade remedy. What I did is originally after I had Googled it, I had Googled that a lot of people were talking about a combination of black castor oil, vitamin E, and actual coconut oil. So my first batch of homemade remedy was that kind of a combination. I did about 75% of the black castor oil and then I, re I mixed the other, the vitamin E and the coconut oil 50-50 and I put it in a container like this. This is something I bought off of Amazon. It is an empty mascara tube. There is a little brush. You can get all sorts of different type of applicators but I would put it in there. And I use this religiously every single night. I would coat my eyebrows and I still do I still coat my eyebrows and then I would take this and I would use it just like a mascara wand before I went to bed I actually loved how it felt on my lashes it is thick and gooey and icky and and you know it's not something you're gonna to want to put on in the daytime and then go to work but at night I loved it I would massage it in it just felt really really good on my lashes and when I woke up my lashes always felt good. They didn't look good, but they felt good. So I continued on with a couple of different variations of this homemade remedy. And currently I'm using the black castor oil in the vitamin E mixture. There's no coconut oil in what I'm currently using. Then I ordered Careprost. After hearing about it, I was a little bit concerned because I have blue-green eyes. My eyes are People say they can see my emotions in my eyes. I, my, I don't have a poker face. I don't have poker eyes. In other words, you will definitely, if you know me, you'll see my emotions. But my blue-green eyes, and so I was kind of really worried about using the Care Pros because I had always been told that it could turn your eyes a different color. It could turn your blue eyes brown, etc. This is having a hard time focusing. 
but this is an empty container of CarePros. So I went on CarePros and I did the four month procedure. I use CarePros every single night before I went to bed. It also cautioned me that when I use the CarePros to make sure that I wasn't removing my mascara with anything with oil in it because somehow the oily cleanser or the oily sub substance can inhibit the CarePros from working to its full potential. So I used an oil-free cleanser, removed all my makeup completely off of my skin, my eyelashes, and then I took this and I would put one drop inside this little indent here, one drop, and I took the little brush and I would dip it in and I would go right like I was doing eyeliner dip it and do both eyes with one drop. I always made sure that I swipe this with alcohol, also the brush. So to the best of my ability, I made sure that I sterilized it. So here are some other pictures. You saw the February 2016, here's some from September. This is the, basically I had probably been using this since sometime in August. And I very quickly saw results, as you can tell from these pictures. September, look at November. I'm going to scroll, let you go right through these photos so you can see the difference that this did for my eyelashes. So I continued on with CarePost from sometime in August of 2016 to January of 2018. And you can see the photos from 2017 that I took and that I inserted. And at that point in time, I was really getting concerned because I, was, I wasn't seeing the thickness that I really liked. So I was thinking that, you know, everything I was read, if something's working really well for you, it's always good to try to give it a break if you can. So I made the decision to give it a break and I have no idea who it was. I thought it was Carol from the O'Carroll Show, but it wasn't. But somewhere along the line, I saw this product called the Lash Tonic. And it had some really cool claims and I said, well, you know, maybe I can use the Lash Tonic because tonic, I was also thinking about Revita Lash or Grandy Lash and some of the other serums and trying to use them for a couple of months and then going back on CarePost. So I saw this and I started this in January and I'll link the video of my experiment with it. I used it twice a day. I did it the same way with CarePost. I made sure I did not have an oily substance on my lashes. I made sure that I, you know, oil free and then I would put it on just like an eyeliner. And the whole time I was doing that, I was still using my castor oil, and I still am, on my eyebrows. So I did that for a month. I didn't see anything dramatic. The claims that you'd have a dramatic improvement, I really didn't see, so I wasn't super impressed. But I also didn't have a fallout. I didn't, it didn't seem to me like I was losing any of my lashes, so I was happy with that. But about the same time that I was doing this, I was contacted by a company, and I'll link all their information below, who had an eyelash serum that was very similar to CarePost. Again, you know, you need to do your research on, on any of this. But this, this company was, had a product called Blink. There's a couple of U.S. distributors that are selling it. It is more expensive than CarePost. So, so we'll see. So this is the more expensive. They said to me, if we send you some, would you review it? And I said to them, sure. I said, I'm going to be finishing up a review that I did on my own as far as bought the product and all that. I said, but if I don't like your product, I am not going to give you a favorable review. I'm very, very fussy about my eyelashes, as you all know. And they, they were okay with that. So they sent me five of these. One of these little tubes will last two months. That's where I'm at today. So I've been using this since uh, February 13th, I believe. Um, two weeks is too soon, I think, to notice anything anyways. But so far, there's been no fallout. I, I'm not seeing any, you know, any, any major improvement so far. It's going okay to the point where I will feel comfortable continuing on using this for two weeks and I'll see how, it, how I feel after that. But that's my eyelash journey for those of you that wanted to know. So my homemade remedy, mixture of black castor oil and vitamin E. I also have another, another tube that was just a regular plain castor oil that some people had talked about, so I did that. Uh, but quite frankly, I gravitate to the black castor oil and the vitamin E more than anything. So we'll see how my eyelash journey continues. But 
I have not had, and, and people always ask me this as well, I really don't want this video to be super long, but I have not had any kind of um, eye hood surgery, um, eye lift, I guess you call it. I have very hooded eyes. You can see if you'll go and I'll insert the February 2016 photo again. Um, you can see how hooded my eyes are. When I started my, my Retin-A, about the same time that I started my Care Prost, I didn't realize as I was documenting my eyelash journey that I would also be documenting my crow's feet and my wrinkles and my hooded eyelids. I had no idea that the Retin-A would make the type of improvement that I see on my eyes. And it isn't until I go back and I look at some of my eyelash pictures and I can see the amount of, I, st I mean, I still have wrinkles, guys. I'm not saying I don't, I do. But I think my wrinkles are just simply not as, they're just not as deep as they were. They're just not. And I started to use my Retin-A, yeah, I have my three strengths, whoops. I started using my Retin-A and around my eyes I would use my weakest Retin-A which is a 0.25. I would put that around my eyes and I would go right up underneath my eyebrow to my brow bone and then I would come close but not into the bag area and I slowly worked my way up to doing that almost every night with this and at one point in in June, I believe, of 2017, I started to I started to use the Nevea. I had seen this on Anne Marie's channel. I'll link her channel be below and a few other channels. And I started to use the Nevea, Nevea, Neva, Neva. I never say it right. My mother would smack me, but I just I'm not a good German girl. I've never said it right. So um, skin firming and soothing concentrated serum with Q10. So long story short. I would do my care post. I would take a tiny little, tiny, you have to push this really, really easy, tiny little dab, and I put it on the inside fat pockets of my eyes, and then I would go up on my brow with it, and then tap a little bit, but not much. Usually I forgot underneath my eyes, and I just did it on, on the above. So I was, I was using that, and so I don't know whether it's this or the Retin-A, I have no idea what it is, but somewhere along the line, my hoods got better. And I've, I've watched videos where they say, no, nah, Retin-A isn't going to lift your hood. Nah, it's not. Something did lift mine, and it wasn't a surgical intervention. So whether it's Retin-A, whether it was the Nevea, I think it's a combination of them both. And um, I use oils around my eyes. I'm, I'm very, very careful on my crow's feet. I bring my retin-A up close. I have sometimes when I get too close, the corner of my eye gets red and I have a little bit of an irritation and I go, okay, I'm too aggressive. So I backed off. So one of the things that I've done, and this is again, this is not any kind of a review on this end, but one of the things that I have done is um, I really, really liked the ingredients of the Olay eyes, so the pro retinol eye treatment. And I thought it was, I thought it was um, full of, especially when you get into the peptides and niacinamides, the things that I really like. So it was a lot, full of a lot of good ingredients. So at about two, by the time this goes live, maybe three weeks ago, I started to, I bought it, and it's very hard in my area to find that they sell out quick. It's sort of like the Nevea, and I put this all around my eyes. I don't know if it's made a difference or not. I haven't had any irritation, but I mention it because I'm getting I'm getting you guys asking me continuously about what am I doing for my eyes, and I just thought that's what I'm doing for my eyes. So I also have on today. I use my Bare Minerals palette. Whoops, and. Um, I use I use my my this is I went to work today I did darken it when I came home just a little bit but um, I used this is entirely my bare minerals palette on my eyes I never ever was one that wore eyeshadow because I never had 
I mean, I always had just my hoods just drooped over my eyes that you never, you could never see the movable lid whatsoever. I still have hooded lids, but they are like, in my opinion, I would say an easy, easy, I would say a good 70% better. I don't know what it is, guys. I really don't. But they're at least, in my opinion, 70% better. So I'm uploading this. I'm going to set it to go public, I think, either Saturday or Sunday. I may not be able to respond readily to any of your questions right away, but I will get to you all. Just give me a little bit of leeway and time because I'm going to need it. So thank you all so much. I hope you had a wonderful week, and thanks for hanging in there. Bye, guys.